Ship. Uh, en er is iets heel moois voorbereid, dus laten we eerst eens gaan kijken op de party van Het is trouwens vandaag featuring sesam crackers die ik ook zeker lekker ga smikkelen. I hope you're all enjoying the party. Take your time. Have all night. Waarom denk ik zomaar dat het niet all night gaat duren? Tenminste wel uh, dit hele gebeuren, maar de party niet. Aha, you're enjoying yourself. I hope um, we have a very special surprise arranged for you. Spannend. Tand toegroten. Schaal met eten. Het is zeker een mooie spread. I'm going to tackle this tiered, tiered tower of dishes from the bottom up. Ja, dat zou ik ook doen. Lekkering. Ik zou uh, Nando zeggen over alle lekkers wat daar ligt. Er ligt ook een bal op. Zie je dat? I think it's just decoration, is it? Oh, really? What a shame. I was looking forward to finding out what it tastes like. You'll be wanting to eat the china next, lol. Uh, I think there's even a special dish laid on for you, Cheryl. Oh, that's leaf. Nou, mevrouw Doublé is ook wel een hele aardige mevrouw, natuurlijk. It's impossible to know where to start. Nou ja, er ligt heel veel lekkers. Wat is er met deze grote mevrouw in de beurt? Uh, aan de hand bedoel ik. Is it just because I'm so small of is that thing huge? No, it's enormous. I wonder how many meters tall it is. Clearly, it's modeled on mythical god goddess. Clearly. Anyway, it's very ornate. Ornate bedoel ik. Um, as a work of art, it's ex exquisite. Oh no, no, het is fantastisch. Uh, when it belongs to the seven dragons, way well, I'm sure Mr. Fullet wouldn't uh, dream of using a gold-plated statue as centerpiece of his new ship. Golly, I'm flabbergasted. Such an enormous statue made of solid gold? What? What a bullshit. Filimpi? No, nee, no Filimpi. Esteemed guests, beautiful ladies and charming gentlemen. As part of our lavish entertainment for you tonight, I have devised a little game for you to play. Spannend. Oh, this sounds jolly exciting, doesn't it, miss? But before I explain to you the rules of the game, let me inform you the sumptuous prize. Spannend. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's the gold statue of the goddess. The statue? The solid gold statue? That is correct, Miss Layton. It's the gold statue of goddess that uh, I will be giving away for a bidding, uh, away a bidding slip for. Okay. A bidding slip? I'm sure no one will want to pass up the opportunity to bid on this magnificent world of art. Okay. Well, everyone certainly seems excited to be by the idea. Are you not, Cat? Aren't you gonna give it a shot? I don't think so. I mean, the price is just a bidding slip. It's not the statue itself, is it? Do you realize, Catriel, that a statue of that size made of gold is practically priceless? If it were to be put up for auction, people would be falling over themselves to be invited for the bid. Okay. Um, in, or in other words, a bidding slip alone is going to be worth a very large sum of money. Precies. Hier is voor de eerste keer dat vrouwke een keertje een smarty pants in. Oh, you're talking park now, are you? I can't keep up. Hmm, this sounds fun, whatever the price might be. Okay. Uh, I won't pretend I'm not interested. Okay. No. It's fine if you're interested, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to tell you the rules of the game. Concealed on this fairy ship are four angel statues. These, m these you must find. It's a treasure hunt, you see. Myself and Captain Pullman will lead you to the approximate locations of each angel statue in turn. Uh, the treasure hunt will take you all around this magnificent new vessel and as you search high and low for the angels. 
Uh, so the third of the angel locations, the heart of the Team Tanek, the engine room. Ladies and gentlemen, follow me. Hunting for angels in order to win the goddess? Mr. Fullhold is, uh, has a wonderful sense of style, doesn't he? Hmm, op zich. Op zich, op zich. Hmm, gosh. You all look rather fierce all of a sudden. <laughs> Stand aside, ladies. Hunting out a few statues will be a walk in the park. Nah. Om deel 3 de top detective zijn. We gaan zeker zo'n statue vinden. I think uh, you'll find that I outstip both of you. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Nou, kom maar op met die hunt. De smaktalk hoeven allemaal niet te behandelen. Nou, laten we nog maar gaan naar de engine room. Dit ziet er wel uit als een engine room, ja. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the heart of the la my last vessel, the engine room of the Team Tannic. Somewhere within this room, the first of the angel statue is hidden. Which of you can find it? Oh no, there are pipes all over the place. Um, how are we going to find a little angel statue? This is the worst. Don't worry, best. If we work together, there's nothing we can't do. Deary, deary me. An angel statue in, in here somewhere. Well, I'll do my best. Oh, we're going to do our best. Doen. Blimey, there's a lot of min machine machinery down here. That klopt. This looks very interesting. Okay. Ah, that switch is used to operate a crane for loading and unloading a large cargo. Hmm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have touched without permission. Oh, no harm done, Miss Layden. Now it looks like Mr. Fullhold will all set the st uh, to start the game. If you uh, are all ready now, ladies and gentlemen, let the game begin. There are uh, you are free to explore the engine room to your heart's content. Okay, as long as long as you don't do not slow us down, of course. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I invite you to locate the angel statue. We hebben in ieder geval een hintmintje gevonden. En een puzzel. It's very hard hunting out a tiny little statue with this massive machinery and paperwork in here, isn't it? Do my instincts are telling me the panel here uh, with all the switches on is hiding something. Perhaps I'll just try flicking a few of them. Ja joh, in de vadende boot van allemaal knopjes in drukken. Treasure hunt. Uh, nine chests are hidden in a cave. Three of the nine treasure chests contain a jewel. Okay. Touch the switches between the chests to switch the lights and reveal a number that tells you the number of jewels contained in the surrounding chests. Okay. Where are the jewels hiding? Touch a chest if you think there's a jewel inside. Okay. This is interesting. Let me really make it here, man. Eén. Oh. Er zit er hier één omheen. Oké. Okay. Hier zitten er twee omheen. Hier zit er één omheen. Hier zitten er twee omheen. Stel dit is er één hè. Dan zou er hier niks meer kunnen zitten. Hier kan niks meer zitten. Hier nog wel. Daar ook nog. Hier één. Dus die kan niet. Dus dan zou je zeggen dat er hier één moet zitten. Hier heb je er alleen en hier zouden er twee moeten zitten. Dit moet het goede antwoord dan toch zijn? Mm, this should do it, I think. Nice. And that's how it's done. Easy peasy. I found something.
Ah, it's the intercept you what a devious hiding place. Ah, Brafam is late then. Well, you know, for a detective like me, it really is just a matter of going through the motions and you want to go through a bit faster, cat. That was a piece of cake, wasn't it? Obviously, also located the statue. We yeah, have to look. Good, I see that you have all managed to locate the first uh, of the angel statues. But don't let complacency take hold of you. Uh, that was a gentle introduction, shall we say? Now, as you are all here in the engine room, perhaps you will indulge us and allow Captain Pullman to tell you a little about this magnificent new vessel. Waarschijnlijk wel. Een long boring kunnen we eigenlijk skippen. Ja, we zijn zeker eager om te continuen. Dat kan swappen. Benji, that was so hard. The angel was hidden really well, wasn't it? Oh, it's something different in here. Oh, the great angel is gone. Uh oh. Hello, we have a sesame cracker. Let me also say, I think that this is for the set pan is. Dat de echte treasure hunt gewoon het vinden van die grote angel is. The golden goddess is gone? Gone? Where is the statue? Where is my golden goddess? Someone has stolen it. Hoe kan het nou gebeuren? Hold your own horses now. It's been nicked. That wobbing great thing. Wait a minute though, if the statue has been stolen, what will become the, my bidding slip? What? Nah, nu moeten wij weer gaan zorgen dat het allemaal weer gevonden wordt. Mijn krenkertje is een op trouwens. Now we're searching for the goddess statue itself instead of angels. Haha, <laughs> what fun! Yay! Kijk wel los. I have the I had the crew search the ship, Mr. Full Holt, but there's no sign of statue anywhere. But this is madness. The statue is enormous. Where could someone possibly have hidden that we cannot find it again? It's terrible crime. Nah, that's not wrong, eh? But there's nothing to be done from the shore. I'll I I do not understand this. Don't you worry, Mr. Full Hold. We catch the crew that did this. You mark my words. Oh yes, of course. I was forgetting about the profession of some of our guests. Well, you then you will find my statue. Ik ga hem wegdoen. Maar het is sowieso voorop gezet en dit is allemaal plan of the game. Could you please ensure no other guests enter the lounge area from now on? Golly, what a term from the Brooks. Brooks. Okay. Right then, let's get this un uh, investigation underway. Okay. Statement from Mr. Fullwald. Oh, the swine that did this is taking my statue. Mr. Fullwald, could we have a word, please? Naturally, uh, if it will help track down the scoundrel. Um, when we went to the engine room to start the angel statue treasure hunt, were any other guests left behind at the lounge? No, I believe all guests were taking part in the game. Um, when we went together to the engine room, there should have been no one remaining in the lounge. Hmm, um, I would say we're 
uh, we were the engine room for about 15 minutes, wouldn't you? Uh, was the statue light enough to re to be removed in light enough to be removed in such short space of time? Miss Layton, the goddess statue is made of solid gold. It weighs per approximately four tons. Four tons? How on earth did he manage to get it uh, inside the lounge at the first place? Place. Uh, the Timotenic's equipment, very sophisticated crane, uh, that was a simple, simple task. And it seems uh, probable that the Cooper used the same method to remove the statue, doesn't it? Hmm, could anybody operate a crane in the full world? It's not easy to control. But I do not know the details. You must ask Captain Pullman uh, this question. Well, I see. Uh, we need to ask him about it now, I think. Yes, we should ask him on the bridge. Uh, that's where he said was he was going to the radio ashore. Okay. Nou, gaan we dat doen, hè? Wij zijn de moeilijkste niet. I say it's rather wonderful being the bridge and seeing where the captain controls the this mag magnificent ship from. Just look at the view over sea. Uh, we're very uh, sorry to disturb you like this, uh, Captain Pullman. Uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions, if we may. Well, we're fast. We krijgen we zeker ook een puzzel voor. Eerst even wat hitmuntjes collecten. Ik pak wel meteen de juiste plaatsen, dat is wel zeer nice. Oh, geen puzzel, oké. Okay. And did you manage to radio ashore, Captain Pullman? Yes, I just finished relaying the message. Uh, I've set course back to the wharf. Obviously, the party can't go on now. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help the investigation, please don't hesitate to ask. I've told the crew to assist um, in any way possible as well. If you want to ask them que uh, any questions, feel free. Thank you very much. We'd like uh, we'd actually actually like to ask you about the crane. Oh yes, the one next to the launch, you mean? Hmm, yes. Mr. Fulwold informs us that only a trained operator would be able to use it, is that right? Exactly. For starters, they need the key from me, and there's no spare either. I have the only one. Uh, the captain has a full responsibility for the vessel, you see. Even the owner couldn't operate the crane without my consent. Hmm, I see. So everything has to go through you, Captain. Yes, and Mr. Fulholt is aware of that, naturally. Um, when he appointed me as captain, he entrusted the uh, Thimbethanic in her entirety to me. In other words, Mr. Fulholt obviously has a great deal of faith in you. He's uh, got salt water in his blood, that man, <laughs> just like me, and he loves this vessel dearly. I know he's, had hard, uh, he's a hard-nosed businessman, and not everyone likes the man, but that's just one, uh, one side of him. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, he has a good heart. When my old company went under, uh, not only did he uh, take me on, but he took on all of my crew as well. As a result, uh, we've uh, all still got jobs, and jobs that we enjoy. He's a great man, he really is. That was incredibly good of him, um, to rescue all from unemployment like that. Mm, that's the seven dragons for you, they can do things like that. Yes, like I said, he's a great man, I'll always be indebted to him. Okay. Yes, I see, well thank you very much for your time. Kijk, a stukje van de puzzel hebben we alweer gecomplete. Dat is zeer fijn. Hij lijkt een beetje op die, uh, die midget van uh, Game of Thrones. Therion heet hij toch? Ja, volgens mij wel. Excuse me, can we, uh, could we ask you a few questions, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're the ones investigating the theft of the goddess statue, are you? Sure, what uh, do you want to know? I'm Abel, by the way. Abel Seaman. Uh, during the time when, we, uh, theft, uh, when the theft must have taken place, Captain Pullman was, in the guest, uh, was with the guests in the engine room. Uh, who was driving the ship uh, while he was away? 
that would be me. Although it's really just a case of checking uh, that she's uh, staying on course. So that would be uh, so that would place you here on the bridge uh, when the theft occurred. Then, yeah, it would. And how uh, and who operated the crane when the statue was loaded onto the ship at, for, at the first place? Uh, that was me as well. Why? Um, uh, so you know how to operate it, do you, Mr. Seaman? Uh, can the crane be used at any time? No, no, not at all. Most of the time it's not switched on to conserve power. Before you operate it, you have to flick the master switch in the engine room. That's interesting. Uh, if that switch is off, the crane wouldn't do anything. Hmm, the master switch in the engine room, eh? Well, it looks like there's quite a uh, procedure to get uh, the crane up and running then. Yeah, uh, there, there is. No one could have made use of it without planning it first. What's up, Perfetti? You onto something? Perhaps. I'm thinking about motive. Motive? Blimey, I thought you were the brains around here. Why does anyone steal gold, eh? For money! Yes, usually, as I agree. But let's not forget that that statue was a matter of pride for Mr. Fullhold. So, what's your point? My point is, perhaps the motive wasn't money, but malice. Revenge. Mr. Fullhold uh, has a number of enemies over the years and he's built up his business. Well, as he's built up his business, yes, you look, eh? It isn't pos uh, impossible that the culprit stole the statue uh, as a way of getting back at him for something. Hmm, you could have a point there. So what do you think? Talk to Fullhold again? First, there's something we else we need to examine. What was it then, Cat? The switch on the, in the engine room. The crane can be operated unless that switch is on. Remember, then uh, and when were when we were in the engine room before, looking at the little angel, that switch was off, I believe. I can't say I remember. It was off. Yes, I remember because Catriel uh, tried to touch it before the captain told her um, that it didn't work. Okay. This liedje is volgens mij van een andere game, de puzzel liedje. Of course, now I remember. I think we should go back in the engine room. Oké, okay, let's go. En dan gaan we de volgende aflevering doen. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering doen? Daar heb je mogelijk. Zie ik graag nog een keer weer. Adios, amigos.